our 2020 high school graduate, Mr. Jaden McKenzie. And Mr. Jackson Ford. start our ceremony today, we would like to acknowledge what's going on in the world with an 84.6 second moment of silence to honor George Floyd. Please join me in a moment of silence. a long time, isn't it? <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, we have two speeches that we're going to hear today very quickly. The first will be from... Wow. Oh, it's a drone. Oh. <laughs> the first will be from sister of Jaden McKenzie, Madison. As the day went, as the days went by, I knew one day I was going to have to say goodbye. Saying goodbye is not my thing, so I decided to stick to see you soon. Being your little sister was very fun, interesting, and adventurous. I got to see who you were outside of the house, annoy you in front of your friends, and sometimes even get in trouble with you. The best part for me was just being around you. When things never went your way, I could see that you were in pain. Every time I stepped into your room, it was because I felt like something was wrong. In fact, I felt like I knew something was wrong, and although I knew you weren't going to tell me, it felt good to know that I was right and something was wrong. But it felt pretty bad that I couldn't do anything about it. Sometimes when I felt like giving up on whatever I'm doing, I would always imagine I was competing against you. For example, I was in math class taking a test, and I was so close to giving up because I didn't know what I was doing. Until I imagined you telling me, gosh, that's so easy. How do you not know that? Then I would slowly <laughs> remember how to do the math. I wish I could say that didn't happen, but it did. And I actually ended up passing the test. Being, your little, being the little sister to Jaden McKenzie at Gainesville Middle School had its perks. On the first day of sixth grade in PE, I was walking around the court until Mr. Grinnell sat on the microphone and looked straight at me saying, there's no gum allowed in PE, please spit it out. I didn't have any gum in my mouth. I was chewing my cheek because I was nervous. <laughs> when I got up to him, he said, wait, are you Jaden McKenzie's little sister? I said yes, and from that day, all the PE teachers knew my name. They gave me a nickname called Maddie Mac, and it was like they saw Jaden 
in me, or do you know me outside, not me. Talking about him to the teachers was a hard part because I didn't know what to say and what not to say. Therefore, I told myself not to embarrass you over and over until I actually did. Sorry about that. <laughs> as, I, as I saw you transition to high school, I knew you were going to get ready for life itself. From my perspective, I was proud of you for not giving up when things got hard. That is amazing that you kept going no matter what. To me, you're part of my inspiration. I knew you couldn't say you, you had a big sister or big brother to look up to because you didn't. You had a little sister. So instead, you got to be the role model for me. I don't know if you knew this, but anytime you asked me for something, my, ha my heart pounded really, really hard because I knew you needed me for it. And it felt pretty good knowing that you needed me. And whenever I failed the mission of doing what you asked, I knew you weren't going to ask me for anything anymore. Therefore, I always made sure I made it up to you. As you go to college, you become the adult you're supposed to think you are. I'll you to make a promise to me. <laughs> Little sister. Starting with that, if anyone asks you if you have a sibling, you'll actually say my name. I'm saying this because some of your friends on FaceTime would always ask who I was when I popped up in the screen. <laughs> promise me that no matter how hard you're struggling, that you won't give up and you'll keep going. Promise me that even if it gets hard and you don't think you can do it, just know there's nothing you can't do. Master True, your ability to stay determined that something will be your best friend going to college. I'm going to miss you so much. I didn't say any of the memories we had together because I don't want to say goodbye to them. I said, I want them forever in my heart, just like you. I always remember you're my big brother, and that title is going to be on you for the rest of your life. Words can't explain how much I will miss you, but not sharing a bathroom with you. I will not miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm proud to be able to call you my big brother. You did an amazing job making me all the way to college and choosing a college far away from me. I think college is the first step in a life, but it should not be your last. So that should keep motivating you to keep going. Make your dreams come true and have fun stepping into your life. I love you, big brother, and I miss you. It's Alexis Four. <laughs> hey, hi everybody. Hi. Glad I'm able to be here today with you all in light of everything that's going on in the world. We are truly blessed to be today to celebrate these two beautiful black men. And I wanted to say, as a big sister, it is crazy seeing Jackson this big. And to see that he's going to a college of his choice is even crazier to me. Trey got accepted into the military, Genesis went to ODU, and now I have a brother going to his dream school in Florida, Daytona, Florida. Very far away, but I'm still very excited for him. I have a funny story to tell you. Some people know it. When Jackson was about seven or eight years old, he would tell us that he's going to be a pilot, he's going to be an engineer, he's going to fly planes, he's going to go across the world, he's going to visit all these amazing countries. I don't know if he remembers that, but now that he's going to study aerospace, it all makes sense. I'm so proud of you, Jackson. I think this is something that you've looked forward to your entire life. I know you've always wanted to study in a way. I know you've always wanted to explore your destiny. I'm so proud of you. It was Trey to be here today, but he wanted me to tell you he's just as proud of you as I am. We are your older siblings and Jenny as well, so we will always be here for you. I know there are times where you don't want us to call you or you don't want us to text you. Teenagers do not like to text back, but I do appreciate when you do. And when we get our FaceTime moments, that is my favorite too. I will be visiting you in Florida amongst the rest of us as well. We will be there to support you no matter what you choose. And we're so happy that you're able to be here today with us. And we can tell you how much we are proud. So 
That's your big sister. I'm not gonna cry, but I'm really, really happy that you allowed me to be here with you today. Thank you. All right, we're gonna present Jackson with his pretend diploma. Because huh? he doesn't get it until Wednesday. So, Jackson Ford. Jaden McKenzie. Come over this way a little bit. Okay. Hey, twenty twenty graduates of Patriot and Stonewall High School. Accomplishments and requirements to be considered graduates. Yeah. Move your tassels from the left side to the right. <laughs> All right. Get together on my on my three. 